Hello and welcome to more of Astro Kings. I'm your host Emperor here and welcome to my channel Emperor Gaming. Please consider to give like, subscribe or uh, comment below of any improvement or suggestions you would like to make um, in any of the videos or anything you would like to see or if I make further videos for future. So getting into this video today's topic will be talking about how to be more econ economical and how to save your resources because that is the one thing that every person who is mostly F2P, F2 player is struggling or who is not paying he wants resources so we'll be talking about that and uh, second thing we'll be talking about the event the collab event which just uh, which is just getting over um, and uh, yeah so looks like we have um, only one day which is left with the collab event which is about to get over yeah so i hope you guys had um, enjoyed this event they were really really good uh, rewards with this event <coughs> that just uh, happened we had like commanders uh, we had uh, different items that could be exchanged for the tokens and likewise so yeah i really hope like people had taken the most out of this uh, event so going ahead uh, let's get into this and uh, before uh, starting uh, this video I would like to just uh, appreciate my friends um, exterminators uh, uh, my friend from different galaxy his name is Mako and uh, uh, Amara so yeah I really appreciate you guys like they helped me um, in understanding uh, pretty much a uh, few things since I'm also a new player I'm um, also building up so I realized a few things that I can or some people can really do in order to save resources here and here I, I am to um, share my knowledge that I gained so without any delay let's get into this we can go to the planet yep so here is the uh, here's the thing so uh, these the residents metal mine thonium and dark matter these are the four things that uh, your planet um, is uh, it it has it has all the enormous ways of benefiting your planetary development so number one is the residents so number th first thing we'll talk here is the commando yeah so um, check your commando like the first thing is to check commando his abilities his uh, skills that he comes with and uh, yeah and that is something that needs to be checked so uh, two of the abilities here is the housing manager and the tax collector as you can see here these two things they can really help producing more uh, production in the resource so the abilities of the commanders they are they are most important like the more the abilities a commander has the better it gives benefits to your resource production plant so try to check for that uh, and uh, further the second thing is the po policy if you go to the policy um, if you need only you want to focus on uh, resource production only need a resource uh, focused uh, planet so I'll suggest liberalism it should be the one policy that one should definitely go for that is second uh, also this is something um, I have came across like cutting down on certain expenses like 
don't build higher level troops build like a lower level troops um, that probably is used during uh, pirates or pirate bases that is something you can do also also one more thing or another tip i would advise to the new player is go ahead and uh, do researches uh, do buildings but save your speed ups like for example if you are researching something do not use speed ups like save them save them for uh, for the events such as uh, raise your power like uh, pro uh, strengthen your national power use those speed ups at that time so that's something really helpful that can help uh, you save resources uh, uh, and also uh, yeah so these are the some things that like um, which you can use which you can do also while you are uh, attacking pirates uh, uh, one of the efficient ways I will say is that when are you when whenever you are sending ships like look look at this one like if I'm gonna attack this turret I'm gonna take off the battleships and the cruisers and then I will replace them with uh, the lower level ships so I'm gonna take T2 battleships and T2 cruisers and then I'm gonna go ahead and send him so uh, and also my formation was guard formation so in this report after we finish attacking him I'll show you something like the damage ones are the four damage ones and which all the ones that got damaged are the ones which were of tier 2 so you're gonna take lower level a uh, lower level tier ships with you with the higher level tier sh ships and then use that to attack any pirate or do any pirate base so uh, I'm just gonna show you some few reports that I saved with me while I did it um, while I did some few uh, pirate bases yeah so let's take a look at one of my reports here which is for the level 20 and here you are you can see the details here that using a guard formation and a mix of t6 and t2 i only lost t2 troops and which is one of the also good thing to do because it will help you save your thonium and your dark matter which is used for repairing so if you do this way you can probably save less yes it is not that way of saving but yes it will definitely save something at least so this way you will save repairing cost which is used for uh, repairing your higher level tier ship so these are the some things which you can do when you are in early stage of uh, of uh, building your planet because in going in in longer terms ahead you will need these resources so badly so badly when you are upgrading a planet or doing anything and also make sure to level up your production resource production plant as this level of your command center you so you see my residence my metal mine they are the equivalent level of my command center also I'm working on right now on thonium and dark matter plant yeah so these are the one also go ahead and check the mission go to the mission open the mission and see these are the look 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 all these resources like if you do them one by one and accordingly 
you will be never running out of resources also use the resources when they are needed so keep the resources as it is like the the one they are there in your inventory so these were the things that i came across and then i cross checked with them with my friends um uh, the friends that I told you about in the starting of this video, I really appreciate you guys. Uh, thank you very much. Once again, thank you very, very much. Um, um, Infodude, aka Exterminatus, um, God, ST, and also thanks to uh, Vader to some extent of helping me out here. And uh, I hope this uh, was good info. And uh, I hope you guys stay safe from cold amidst the corona and the and the disturbance that has caused to us from corona. It's really uh, very bad. So I hope everyone and their families are safe. And uh, I hope I will check you guys in the next one. In the next video, uh, I'm planning to do a small video on the boxes that I received from uh, the event and um, I'll be doing with you guys like opening of 100 boxes uh, of, uh, of my collab event, a special reward box. Um, if I cannot make it 100, I will make a video of doing, let's say, of 40 or how, how many total I make. I'll be doing that video like opening of uh, reward boxes. We'll be doing that. And yeah, so I'll, I'll hope uh, it was helpful for the people who are new to this game because it definitely needs way of saving resources and believe me it is very important to save resources if you are not paying for it and uh, and you are a complete um, free to play uh, player so here were the tips and i hope these definitely definitely help you all right so with that i hope this helps and uh, make sure to just give a like or a drop a comment or just give a suggestion or just let me know what uh, you guys would like to see in the next video and I'll try my best to do that and yeah so I hope you guys stay safe take care and I'll definitely uh, catch you in the next one peace out